the total amount of sap we can collect from maple trees is variable and depends on many factors. With the right equipment, practices, and management, consistent yields of 0.4 to a half gallon of syrup equivalent per tree are attainable. There are three main factors that influence the total yields achievable from individual trees. Vacuum, spout and drop sanitation practices, and tree factors such as size, health, sap sweetness, the amount of non-conductive wood present in the tapping zone, and practices like tap hole depth and the number of taps per tree. Using modern pumps, the level of vacuum achievable at the tree can reach as high as 28 inches of mercury. The level will vary depending on the pump, tubing system factors, leaks, and elevation of the sugar bush. Research has demonstrated that each inch increase in vacuum results in a 5 to 7% increase in yield. To put that into perspective, if a 10-inch tree produces 15 gallons of sap with vacuum levels at 20 inches, it would produce about 20 gallons of sap at 27 inches of vacuum. At a sap value of 50 cents per gallon, that's an increase of $2.50 per tree. Multiply that by the number of trees in your operation, and the benefits of achieving and maintaining higher vacuum levels are obvious. This also highlights the importance of rapidly detecting and fixing leaks. Even minor leaks can have major impacts. So how do you make sure optimum vacuum levels are achieved and maintained? There are a few main keys. Tubing system design, installation, and maintenance. Vacuum pump selection, operation, and management. Monitoring, management, and repair of leaks and proper tapping practices. By following these recommendations, you should be able to increase the yield of sap in your operation and achieve higher net profit.